Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Solange and in today's video, I'm going to be decorating for spring and summer. So I want to show you all the little changes I do at home, how with some simple changes, you can refresh your home for the new season. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I changed the books over here that were um, red burgundy and I changed the brown Louis Vuitton book. So I changed, I changed it for this too, they're lighter. The top one is a vintage book that has like a linen cover. So I think it blends perfectly with the base. And over here, I actually want a thick stack because I want to, I want to cover this part over here. So I grabbed this ones, this books, but I don't know about the white here in the middle. I don't know if it flows well. And now I have to tackle this area where my husband has his Xbox that I always try to hide a little bit with the decor. So I'm gonna figure something out for here. Okay, so this is what I figured out for now. I know it's not perfect and it has a lot of different colors, but so I actually use the sleeve of this book to cover the Xbox since my husband barely uses it anyways. Um, and yep, I just covered it up a little bit and put some vases on the sides. I'm trying to add vases everywhere <laughs> because I have so many and I'm trying to have them styled. I still, I'm still not sure about the situation, but for now it will do. I also have a big hole for the cords in the back, right there in the middle. So I decided to put this in the middle instead of on the side so I could fully cover that. And yeah, I still, I'm not sure about the bases on the sides because before this was to the side and then I had two, ba two no, like three bases here. But for now, I think it will do. And it will be looking like this. Okay, so I have a little haul from Home HomeSense. It's the first time I go to one of their stores. And I found a couple beautiful things to style with for spring. So first, I got this hand soap for my main bathroom. It was $5.99. I like the aesthetic of it, like very neutral and classy. And I think it goes perfectly with my bathroom decor that I've been already restyling in many ways. So I'll show you that in a minute. Then I bought this little stand for the hand soap and for the dish soap for the kitchen because the one I was using, now I'm using it in my coffee bar, so I need a new one. So I got this little one, this one was $7.99. Then I found this quilt. It says it's full queen quilt set, but it fits in a king bed perfectly. So I got this one for $49.99. I thought it would be great to style right on top instead of this one that I was that I had from before. Now I'm gonna change it up for this one on top of my duvet cover. And I think it's gonna give it a beautiful springy look. So I'm very happy about that. I was already looking for a pattern like this and they were all super expensive. So I found this at a decent price, so I'm happy. Then I found this gorgeous pillow. It's so pretty, all the flowers, the birds, the colors. I love that it has a neutral base, but it adds some color for spring. And this one was $29.99, so a decent price also. And it has a washable cover, so right now i always look for that in any pillows i purchase because i want to be able to wash them and even change the insert if i want to so that's a great one 
then i also found this sweet little um, throw blanket and i'm going to use this one for my couch this one was $24.99 and i think it's just it adds a little touch of spring but in a very delicate way and i just love it i fell in love with it it's so pretty and so sweet so yeah let's style this pieces up. Okay, so I replaced temporarily the other stand I had for this little tray and I'm just gonna swap it for the new one. So that's it. I'll just put them there and it looks a lot better. I had a frame here that I uh, will see where I end up putting it now because it doesn't fit anymore there. So, yeah, we'll see that later. Okay, for now, I just place it like this. I think that's good enough. Um, I really like how vintage frames look like floating on a backsplash. I think it looks really different. And, yeah. I didn't actually hang it, I just have it, I mean, I have it hanging from the Alexa plug that is like a square plug. So yeah, that's how it looks right now. I also have this vase, I had it painted and it got some oil on it apparently, so I just have to like paint it over again. So it's like a vintage vase style and yeah, that's how it looks for now. Okay, so I set up the bed a little bit. I have the sheets are from Amazon, I'll link them. And the duvet cover and the pillowcases are from Amazon. So I have to put this one on and let's see how it looks. Okay, so I decided to put the sheets underneath the duvet cover because it was like too much print going on all together and it looks i think it looks perfect and i forgot they came with this pillow covers so i'm going to see if i can fit those two in a pillow cover because i was thinking of buying some because this do not have washable covers and i actually wanted some larger pillows like those in the bed so maybe i can try to fit this ones in there i don't know we'll see okay i'm so excited because they actually fit in there and thank god i didn't buy pillow cover for them yet so i think that's pretty neat what i feel like now is that i should have some neutral sheets so it doesn't clash so much with this print but if you don't have if you have everything neutral and those sheets like i used to have that's perfect but anyways we were trying to get some new brooklyn and sheets like some neutral ones so that's gonna look perfect with this quilt and the duvet cover and now i'm thinking of adding this one i don't know if it's gonna be too much but we'll try it out Okay, I think it actually looks pretty nice, just changing up the sheets. I think that's, uh, it has like a very neutral base and then the, the, the flowers and everything on top. So I think it's not so busy. This has a smaller print and that one has a bigger one. So I feel like that matches better. So I think just changing up the sheets, that's how, more or less how it will look and i'm pretty happy about it i don't want to have a million pillows throw pillows on the bed so i think that's the right amount 
Okay, so for the coffee table, I just swapped out some of the books. The I have The Art of Home by Shia McGee, and I had that one at the bottom. And I had a brown one that I'll show you in a minute on the top for fall, winter, all that. And now I just have, well, I actually went to RH in West Palm Beach, and I got some catalogs. Let me show you. So I have some catalogs underneath to give it some more height and it, they are the exact same size so it's perfect so I put that on top and I just have a little arrangement that I have to change soon whenever I decide on what floors I want for spring and just a candle I put on top some rocks that we collected from here from the beach I live in Miami, so we always find some cool stuff and a little candle snuffer. And underneath, I always have my picnic basket that is very substantial and it fills up the bottom part. So I like that there. And a little basket that I got at Hobby Lobby. This one is thrifted and this one's from Hobby Lobby. I also have a salt and pepper shaker in there to have it handy because most of the nights we just eat here watching a movie. So for the couch, I just, um, I had this ones in the bedroom and I just brought them out here. Then I had this ones in the couch before. I had this one with a different pillow cover, a brown uh, velvet one for winter and same with this one. This couch is kind of hard to style because it has no cushions. So it looks kind of off if it doesn't have pillows on it or a good amount of pillows. And for the middle part, I thought this was the best arrangement. I tried almost everything. I would love that lumber to be a little longer, but that's the only one I have right now. And I might either change it up for a longer one or just buy a pillowcase for that one, like a linen one or something neutral because I already have a lot of pattern going on. Everything is more on the springy side, so I just, just gonna leave them like that for now. I love this little one, that one I got at Home Goods, And yeah, so I just have to change that back um, situation over there. And I have this blanket that I'm gonna try out with this setup and let's see. Okay, so this one is the one I bought at HomeSense. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute for spring and I wish my couch was all this color. I honestly um, looking, I've been looking for a couch for a long time, a beige linen couch, but I want, it's very specific what I want. I actually want it to be a L couch with a pullout um, bed. So whenever we have visit, cause we only have one bedroom for now, it would be great to just pull out a bed and make it at least like a queen bed. And then on the side, just have an accent chair and I think it will look so much better and it will also look much more open on this side if we had a accent chair. Just one L shape would pull out bed in like slip cover linen and I also want the cover to be washable so that's something very specific I'm looking for and it's kind of hard to find especially at a decent price. So for this side I just put this one and it's like very light and neutral also so i think it's a good combo and yeah that's how it's gonna be for now until i find my dream couch okay so to finish off the bedroom i already vacuumed and got rid of all the lint in this little bench i have at the end of the bed and i have i had two of these pillows for winter fall and winter over here so i'm gonna change out the pillowcases for this ones I bought at Timu and they look very pretty so we'll see how they look on here okay so this is the final result I love this pillows I think they're so cute and feminine and just 
just gorgeous and i love how everything looks with the rest of the bed um i just need like i said to change those sheets for neutral ones and everything else will flow better and yep that is how it's looking for now i just organized a little bit my husband's and my nightstand and change it around but i have a bunch of books over here and i have way more that i have to put in there i need a standing invisible bookshelf over there that just has like the back and the shelves but i haven't found one that is exactly what i'm looking for so yeah i'm still in the hunt for that and here i also have my little pin board with my mood board and i'll show you from close the pattern on it it's beautiful and it's also adding a little touch of spring and florals and i love it so here it is from up close i thrifted this one too and i think it's so cute i love it i also bought this cute summer basket at home sense if i'm not mistaken and it was only ten dollars so i love it for taking my stuff to the beach putting towel sunscreen all of that and also i could use it for decor purposes you could use it for laundry if you don't have a lot of laundry to do but yeah i just put it there for now because it's pretty substantial but i also think it adds a little touch of spring to the room i love it it's so pretty okay guys so i just ordered a bunch of faux florals and stems on walmart so i got two of these olive branches i was thinking of putting it on my big bases since they're pretty tall uh, on my bigger olive jars that i have from home goods and then I got a bunch of just like little florals to add to my different vases. I obviously have to like open them up and just make it look better and mix them with other stuff. And they were all super affordable. Then I got this baby's breath picks. They were like $2 and something or $3 each. So... I think it was a decent price and I also got two of these so I'm going to just uh, put them all around my different pots and vases around the house and I'll show you how it looks. I found this beautiful faux hydrangeas on Amazon. I'm going to link them too and I think they look beautiful in this vase. I also found this lavender stems on Amazon and I think they look great in this little pot. The smoothest stones sitting with the river spawns glimmer with the white Passing light in this unknown and Sprouting seeds Pushing through the forest green Making up their way And day by day They'll turn to trees Winter falls Just a spring to summer's call And we do that we're just human after all Sun or snow All the life it seems to know And all we have Is just part of how it goes How it goes This I know Little birds jumping out the nest to learn You're never gonna fly but staying high in this unknown And 
timid stars waiting for the after hours painting with the light showing every night this I know winter falls just a spring to summer's call and we do that we're just human after all Sun or snow All the life it seems to know And all we have Is just part of how it goes How it goes This I know Okay guys, that was it for today. I hope you like decorating with me and it gave you a couple ideas to refresh your space for the new season. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate uh, your likes, your comments, your every time you subscribe. Thank you so much and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye. All we have it's just part of how it goes, how it goes This I know